All right, next step is to start getting more into the physical implementation of the chip. Where are all the little transistor switches going to be and how are we going to connect them up? So the first thing we want to do is create what we call a floor plan. And the floor plan is really important because let's say that I know a bunch of gates need to talk to each other real fast. They need to be connected close so they can switch really quickly. And then I have another group of gates that have nothing to do with this functionality. They can live on the opposite side of the chip and it really doesn't matter. And actually I'd like to separate them so that they don't interfere with each other and they don't get, uh, and they, they allow some more optimization to go on. So I create this floor plan saying, put this part of my cell phone ringer over here and put that part of my cell phone over there on the opposite side of the chip. And you can see it looks kind of like a floor plan for your house. But you as the, as the engineer who knows what this thing is supposed to do has this inherent knowledge that helps to make sure that your chip is going to be more efficient. And what's interesting is um, in today's chips, the wires that go throughout here can be a mile long. And so it's important that you know, you know along the, that wire which kinds of transistors need to be close to each other and which ones don't. It really helps with the timing of your chip to make sure it runs fast enough. So once you have the floor plan finished, the next thing you do is you need to place the gates down. And you'll put them you know, where you want them. You say, put the gates here, there, put the gates here, there. And the second thing you do then is to connect them with wires, and that's called routing. So this step we call place and route. It's also called layout. And when I say you place each gate, you personally don't do it because there's a billion of the switches or a million of the gates. This is the automatic part of the computer program that will do it for you. Figure out where to put those gates and then connect them with the wires. Place and route. What it actually looks like once the, everything's placed and routed is more like this, where this kind of ma maps back to the picture of the layers, where you can see things going up and down and in and out. Um, this is more of a representation that, that you can understand what its function is doing, but it actually looks a whole lot more like that. And again, here are a couple examples of products that we have that do the place and route. Now this part is really interesting. So let's say I've done my place and route, but it's really critical that I simulate it one more time. I want to make sure that, again, I haven't introduced any mistakes. Because watch this. Let's say I place these gates here. These gates were placed over here, and they're routed together by this long, long wire. If that's my cell phone ringer, and this wire is a mile long, my ringer is not going to ring fast enough. And so during this step where you're doing simulation again, that would show up as, oh man, that little diagnostic report said my cell phone ringer takes 10 minutes. That's bad. So I would go back to the place and route and I would say, wait a minute, let's place these closer and route them with a shorter wire and now it's going to work properly. So see again, we're checking one more time, one more time. We don't want to go to manufacturing until we've, we've figured out every single thing that could possibly go wrong. So one more step, uh, verification. Now, what's interesting, I have done my logic design. So I've done all the simulation and all the verification and I've made sure everything works fast enough and, and so forth. And then on the um, other hand, I've also physically said here are where the gates go and here's where the wires go and they're routed together. I want to make sure those two are the same. I want to make sure that all along that design flow, something didn't get dropped out by accident, that I was simulating something that, they, that was forgotten when the place and route came along. So this part, layout, which is the physical part, versus schematic, which is the logical part, the, the functionality, is crucial to making sure that when I go off to manufacturing that nothing has gotten dropped out. LVS, layout versus schematic, crucial, crucial. Making sure that all of these little wires and all the transistors are hooked up and work exactly the way that they were when I simulated them. The other thing that's extremely important is to follow the rules of the manufacturer. What's interesting is that if, for instance, you get wires that are too close together, then the electricity may jump across to the other wire. That's not a good thing. And the manufacturers know this. And so they will say things like, make sure your wires are not too close together. And we call these design rules. So we need to do design rule checks to make sure that the manufacturer is going to build this chip properly. Looking again for line spacing and all types of, they've got huge amounts of rules that you have to follow. And this is all done automatically, by the way, not, not by hand. Again, a couple of examples of tools that, that perform the layout versus schematic and the design rule check for you.